Hey guys, finally, 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 we are doing the Timu haul. Yay! Because I need to open this thing and make sure that I got everything that I ordered. I haven't even opened it yet, and I've had it for a couple of weeks now, so I need to open it and make sure I got everything. If you heard some noise, that was Bailey scratching on her post, so... I was going to vlog in my car earlier today because I was out and about and then I remembered I have several videos on my phone. I don't even know if I'm going to upload them or not, but they're all in my car and they're all like driving and stuff. So I figured y'all might get sick of that after a while. So anyway, I just thought I'd come home and do my Timu haul. But I did go get my nails done today. Today is Friday. It is Good Friday. The day we acknowledge and honor what Christ did for us on the cross. His death. His death that paid for our sins. Um, we honor that today on Good Friday. And we're actually having a Good Friday service at church tonight. And then we have choir and drama practice after church to get ready for Sunday. So anyway, and then tomorrow we are going with our friends to, um, we have a place in Birmingham called the Botanical Gardens. And um, we are going there for the Cherry Blossom Festival. And I'm so excited because I love cherry blossoms, the Japanese cherry blossoms, I can't talk, the Japanese cherry blossoms, I absolutely love them, and I'm so excited to go see what all they have out for that, it's going to be like a whole day kind of event, they're going to have different, they're going to have like food vendors, and um, different groups performing things, um, maybe dances or stuff, I'm not sure, um, so anyway, I don't know how long we'll stay. I don't know if we'll be there all day, but our friends are going with us and we're probably going to eat dinner afterwards. So should be a fun day tomorrow. But anyway, and let's see, I went and got my nails done. I went to one of our local pickers, an antique mall. Didn't find anything, but just went to look around and went to Publix and got some groceries and... Anyway, now I'm home. This is my nail color for Easter. A pretty hot pink color. I love it. Love it, love it. My top for Easter is pink. It's kind of a cross between a light pink and a and a hot pink. I'm not I can't really remember. But um anyway, I wanted to go with a pink color. And there it is. Got it on my toes, too. Got my first pedicure of the season. Felt so good. So, yay. So, anyway. And I also stopped on the way home and got me an acai bowl. These things are so good. If you have them where you are and you have not tried them, try it. It's so good. It is um, frozen acai. I got some granola, strawberries, and banana. And then topped off with some peanut butter and Nutella. So, I think I'm going to dive into this while we're doing our haul. But I just realized I don't have a spoon with me. So, hold on just a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. I did grab me a spoon, but I also went ahead and ate my acai bowl. Because I realized it's probably not the most attractive thing to eat on camera. Especially when you're trying to do a Timu haul. So... I went ahead and ate it, and it proved to be true because the acai berries or whatever gets in your teeth, and I had to get that out and um, because that really wouldn't have been attractive. So um, anyway, I did all that, and y'all, I'm really loving this nail color. It looks so good on camera. Every time they pop up in the screen, I'm like, wow, that's pretty. So I love my nails. So let's get to this Timu haul because I only have 23 minutes of recording time on my camera and I hope it will not take that long to do this Timu haul, but we'll see. I'll try to be watching the time. So 
And I already tried to record this earlier or a few minutes ago, and I ran out of time, so I had to delete some stuff off my camera. So a couple of my Timu items are already open, which should make Amy happy. Amy Mache, if you're watching this, it will make you happy because I was rattling paper, so which I may have to do again, but sorry. Um, I did print out a price list so I could tell you how much everything costs. I know a lot of people link the products in their description. I'm not going to do that just because I don't want to. <laughs> um, I will list the prices in there if y'all want me to. That will be no trouble at all, especially since I have them printed out here. But I will tell you how much they cost. Now, if you do need me to link a product for you, if you can't find it or something, I will be glad to do that. So just let me know. Just let me know. And I'll start with this right here just in case you want it linked. But I needed a new wraparound, like when I get out of the shower. I don't do robes. I don't do anything like that. And I don't like anything to be on me when I'm getting out of the shower or putting on my makeup, you know, getting ready. So um, I wear those little wraparounds. Um, and I needed a new one because mine's getting really, really old and it's starting to not stick. But um, this one, this is blue. And it has a cute little pocket on it with a bow. And y'all, this is so soft. Like, really soft. I love it. Um, even though I don't really like the straps, this these have straps on it. But I think you can take them down if you want. And instead of Velcroing together, it snaps together. So I really like that. So I'm hoping that'll hold up. And this was cheaper than the ones I had looked at on Amazon. Um, this was only, this was $8.28 for this wraparound. So if y'all, since you can't see it very good, because I'm sitting down. Um, if y'all want me to link it, I will. Um, but it's just, it doesn't show, show the whole description, but it says wearable bath towel. So, anyway. And that's the pretty blue color I got. So there's that. <clears throat> Next, I got this portable filing system. And it came with little stickers that you can write on. And then you can just put them, if you want to, on these tabs. But y'all look. Look at all those pockets. I got this hoping that it'll fit down in my work bag. Because I take a lot of my personal things to work. Like my bills and, you know, Garrett's papers or whatever. Just different things that I may need. Um, but sometimes in my work bag, they're not, I can't always just go in and grab what I want. I have to dig and try to find it. So I got this hoping that I could organize everything, you know, put certain bills in one, um, and that way I can just pull this out and find what I need a little bit easier. So I'm hoping that'll work for me. If not, this was $4.57. So I'm not out a lot of money if it doesn't work for me. And they snap together. So if it doesn't fit in my work bag, I can just carry it because it has a handle. So there you go. Okay, the next thing that I got, and my reaction to this was on the, la the previous video, so I really can't give you another reaction. This is kind of a dud. Maybe I'm hoping it won't be. But I, I'm calling this a Timu dud because it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. It is, but it isn't. This is a canvas. And it's a, it's a dragonfly picture, which I love dragonflies. And I got it because it matched my bedroom. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love dragonflies. I love them. But y'all, this is a canvas print. And the way it was shown in the picture, and maybe I should have read the description more, or maybe Timu just didn't offer me the information. 
but in the picture it looked like it was already wrapped on the board on the wood um, well as you can see it's not so I guess I'm gonna have to find somebody who can wrap it for me I don't know if Hobby Lobby does that in their framing department I don't know if they do canvas work or if they can wrap canvas on a board I'm gonna call and ask them but if not I will try to find somebody who does that kind of thing. So if you happen to know if Hobby Lobby does that, just drop me a comment and let me know. But I really like this picture and I wanna hang it in my bedroom next to my metal butterflies that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, my feet are going to sleep. Y'all, I can't sit and it's comfortable to sit in the floor, but my feet go to sleep. So now I'm uncomfortable. But anyway, I'm hoping I can do something with that. And if not, and I should have known by the price, it was only $1.34 for that. So, you know, if I can't find anybody to do it, you know, whatever. Or if I can't find anybody to wrap it, I could just get it framed. You know, Hobby Lobby could frame it as, you know, like it's an actual picture. So, so I guess it's not a dud because I will find something to do with it. Okay, the next thing is, I got is a makeup bag for travel. Like I don't have, already have enough to begin with. But this one just looked like it would be really easy to organize everything in. I don't really, rows of, I, it's got something written on it, but who cares? You can't really see it. But it's got a bottom compartment, which I like. You can put your brushes or anything, yeah, your brushes in there. And then you can, you know, put some other stuff right there. Oh, you, I think it showed in the picture, like, you can put your brushes right here, and then you can still fit some makeup right here. So you could put all your, for me, because I don't wear a whole lot of makeup, I can fit all my makeup in that bottom part, and then I can put my skincare or other toiletries in that big part. Y'all, that's a lot of room. A lot of room. So, so yeah. I could put all of my toiletries in this one thing for traveling. Oh, and it does have, it does have a wristlet strap on it. And then, it just zips up, and there you go. We're going to Disney World in two weeks, so... I may try that out then and see how it goes. Oh, and that was $8.99. Let's stay with the bag theme, and this will be the last of the big items. I got a duffel bag. And it's hot pink leopard print. Isn't it cute? It matches my nails. It matches my nails. My pretty pink nails. Let's open this. Oh, yeah. There you go. Again, like I need another bag. I don't need any bags. I have a lot of bags. I'm, I'm the bag queen, the purse queen. I have a lot. So, what's another one? But here's my little duffel bag. It was just too cute to pass up. It's got your long strap in there. And then it's got your short straps. It's just so cute. And it's got a little zipper pocket on the front and then an open pocket on the front. That is just too cute. And y'all, I also got it from Timu because I've seen um, a couple of boutiques that had this, and they were selling them for like $25. $10.49. Thank you very much. I think I'm going to use this to take me some clothes to change into and my shoes to change into to go walking after work. Yes, I only live three miles from my house, so it's nothing for me to come home and change. 
and go up to the track. But sometimes when I come home, I'm so tired that I really don't want to get back out. So it, sometimes it's hard to come home and then leave again. So if I have my stuff with me and I change and I go straight to the track, I can get my walk in done. Because I get off at 3.30. So anyway, that's my cute duffel bag. And I, duffel, duffel bag. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it. Okay, now on to the smaller things. Oh, <laughs> actually, there's one more bag in here. This was just kind of an impulse buy because... Sorry, paper rattling. Hold on a second. Y'all, I had to get up on the couch. My foot was so asleep that it was going numb, so... Anyway, there is another bag in this order. I hope the paper's not too loud. This is just a cute little bag. I'll probably use it for travel or to take to work. And it's a quarter, it's almost a corduroy feel. And it's hot pink. Y'all, can y'all tell I like pink? You would never know that blue is my favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> because of all the pink that I have. I love pink, but blue is my favorite color. But um, anyway, this is just a little bag. It, it reminds me of two different bags that I had as a child. Um, I had this corduroy bag. Um, I can't describe it. It was just a corduroy bag. And then another little purse that I had was pink, and it was like exactly this pink color. And I don't know, every time I saw this on Timu, I was just drawn to it. I was just like, I gotta have that bag. And I'm like, I don't know what I'll do with it, but I gotta have that bag. It was just one of those things, just one of those weird, quirky moments. So anyway, I bit the bullet and got it. So I don't know what I'll use it for yet, but I will use it for something. And it was $6, so. You know, there you go. I promise that's the last of the bags. I'm just going to reach in here and see what I get. Because I got some small things. Except this one. I think I know what this is. Y'all, team, it, I guess strawberries is a big thing right now. Which I love strawberries. I love any strawberry decor. Um, strawberry smells, anything strawberry I love. And it must be like a craze right now because um, Timu has a lot of strawberry items on their site. So all you have to do is, sorry, I'm, you know, I ate. So um, all you have to do is search for strawberries and just tons of stuff come up. What is that? Oh, it's a straw cleaner. But y'all, I got this cute little cup. Look! I've been wanting one of these glass jar cups that has the wooden lid on it and then the straw. I've been wanting one of these. And so, I looked on Timu and I think the straw is is glass too. Yeah. Um... So, Timu had this strawberry one. Is that not the cutest? I'm in love. I can drink my sweet tea, or I can make me some strawberry lemonade, or whatever, and drink out of my strawberry cup. But, y'all, I just had to have that. Is that not the cutest ever? I mean, strawberries are just pretty to look at. They're good to eat. But they're just pretty to look at. Look at that. Got little pink flowers on it and red hearts. Oh, it's just too cute. I can't wait to use that. I may have to get me another. I may have to see what other prints they have. But I just love the glass straw and the glass. Love it. Sorry. Sounds like a um, wind chime. I did get me some new wind chimes at Hobby Lobby. I can't remember if I got anything else at Hobby Lobby. We went a few nights ago. 
I'll have to see. I may have to do a Hobby Lobby haul. There's that. And it came with a straw cleaner, which we have because with all of our Stanley cups. I just reach and grab. Okay. Oh, this is lotion. This is lotion. I thought it was lip gloss at first and because the other day, y'all, I'm about out of time. Um, the other day at Ulta, I bought some strawberry lip gloss. It smelled phenomenal. But when I put it on, I didn't like the way it made my lips feel. And the smell was so strong, it stayed with me. Um, so, I took it back. Oh, that strawberry cup. Where is it? Oh, the strawberry cup was $6.99. So, there you go. I've got to hurry because I don't have much time left on my video. Um, I got some strawberry hand cream. I got two tubes of it. Strawberry lotion. It's not focusing, but that there, but that's okay. Strawberry hand cream. Let me see if I can smell it. Oh. Ooh. Smells like strawberry shortcake. And I'm not talking about the food. I'm talking about the doll. Strawberry shortcake. Ooh. Oh. That smells so good. I think that'll be better than the than the uh, lip gloss. Mmm. Strawberries. But anyway, I got that. And that was $1.79. Yes, and yes, I got two tubes. I think I got two tubes for $1.79, so there you go. Okay. Next, I got, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this. I'm going to have to delete some more video. Um, I saw Marsha Johnson hauling this. And Marsha, you'll have to let me know if you still use this and if you still like it. This is um, Foera, and it's foundation, Silky Full Coverage Liquid Foundation. Now, I haven't used liquid foundation in a while. I use the stick, but the way Marsha was talking about this, um, it sounded like it'd be really good, and I'm just going to have to rip this open. There you go. So, yeah. This is just a liquid foundation, and it pumps out. So I can probably just pump it on my Kabuki brush and then put it on. Um, but I just wanted to try this. Soft matte, long wear, liquid foundation. So. Naturally flawless, oil controlling, lightweight feel. And that's what I want, lightweight. And I've been wanting to look for some more foundations to try. Um if I decided to stop using Unique. Um, so I'm anxious to try that. You may have to remind me, but I'll try to let you know how it works. So there's that. This is also Foera. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to look at my list. The foundation was six dollars and eighty three cents. So, and this is face primer. I will always try some face primer. So yeah, that's a little bitty tube, and it was I can't find it. Three dollars and fourteen cents. And that's a little tube, so. So, yes, we'll definitely be trying the face primer with the foundation. Y'all, I've got like two minutes left. Okay. I got, I'm not going to open these, but I got two little peel boxes for my purse. 
One, of course, is the strawberries. Isn't that cute? And then I got a um, cheetah print one, pink, that's got some, it looks sparkly. Two pill boxes for my purse. And I think I'm, they hold like, let me just try to open. They have two compartments on them. So, yeah. Two little pill boxes for my purse. Those are cute. And those were, <clears throat> excuse me, three dollars. One was three dollars and nine cents, the strawberry one, and the leopard one was three dollars and forty eight cents. So not bad. One more item and we're done. See if I can do it in two minutes. Okay. This was hauled by Away Girl, Amy. And once again, <laughs> That girl, she can describe stuff really well, and it makes you really want it. It makes you really want to try it. She's really good at reviews and descriptions and all that kind of stuff. So, this is some lip gloss. Let me open it. Okay. That's the brand. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. It's like all in Chinese. But it's this lip gloss. And this, look at the packaging. That's just so pretty. Um, this is the honey peach flavor scent, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I think they have another one that she was going to get. And I don't think it was available when I ordered this one. But she just raved and raved about this stuff. So I thought, yeah got to try it. So, I have on some lipstick. Wouldn't you know my video would cut off right as I was putting this lip gloss on. <laughs> oh my. Well, I, I managed to delete a video, so um, I have a little bit more time. But y'all, she was not lying when she raved about this lip gloss. It goes on so silky smooth. And it feels amazing. I have a little bit of lipstick on, so I can't really tell how much color, how much pigment there is in it. Um, and it may not have any pigment in it. I can't remember. It may just be lip gloss. The smell is not strong. I, I do smell some peach but it's not strong, and um, y'all, I'm putting this in my purse, and I'm keeping this on my lips all the time. It feels so good. I can't even tell you. It, it just feels so good. And I can't, I can't remember how much I said in the first video, but um, Away Girl is the one who um, hauled this and was just raving about it. Um, and when she raves about something, you want to buy it. So, and if I didn't tell you the price already, it's only a dollar and ninety nine cents. And there, there was one other scent. This is Honey Peach, and then there was one other scent. I can't remember what it was. Um. I'd have to go look and see. But I'm I'm fixing to go order some more of this right now because this is so good. Thank you, Amy, for hauling this. It feels so good. It is so silky smooth. To be a stick, you know, to not be like a wet gloss um, that you put on with the little brush. This is just like a lipstick, but y'all, it is so smooth, so smooth. You've got to, if you order from Timu, you've got to get you some of this. Um, I'll try to remember when I'm uploading this video to link this because it's some good stuff. For $1.99? Mm. 
So anyway, that is my Timu haul. Haven't done one of those in a while. But I may have another one soon because I'm going to order some more of this. And I'm definitely going to look and see if they have some more of these cups. I don't know why I put it back in the box. I'm just going to take it in my kitchen to be washed. I'm definitely going to get me a couple more of these. Maybe they'll have different patterns. Or maybe I'll just get another strawberry. And definitely more of this. These are going to be two reorders for me. Definitely. So, anyway. That's my Timu haul. Now I've got to go and clean up all this mess and get ready for church tonight. And it's Easter weekend, y'all. I will try to video a little bit of the um, Cherry Blossom Festival tomorrow because I know it's going to be pretty. Um, the Botanical Gardens in Birmingham is a really, really pretty place. And I haven't been there in several years. So, um... I'm anxious to go. And then Sunday's Easter. I hope everybody has a church home or finds a church to go to um, on Easter. And if you don't go to church, I pray that you'll find somewhere that you can call home. Um, but go to church on Easter. Go to church. Serve our risen Savior. Praise our risen Savior. Worship our risen Savior because He is worthy and He is risen. So, and then we go to my dad's for lunch, and I think Eric is going to go visit his mama, because my sister-in-law is cooking lunch also, but he's going to go visit his mom. Um, his mom has dementia, and um, he's trying to spend as much time with her, you know, as he can, while she's still doing good. Um, so, he may go visit her while we're at my dad's. So, we will do that, and then we'll start another work week. So, anyway, I hope y'all are having, and we'll have a great Easter weekend. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, and I will talk to y'all on the next video. Bye, guys.